welcome back to my channel. So we're in a different setting because I'm currently in Okada, Manila and it's a very luxurious hotel in the Philippines. Uh, normally, we wouldn't spend a lot of money but we believe in spending our money on experiences. So this is something that we didn't want to miss out. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos of it on YouTube and pictures of it online and I was really blown away by it so i suggested to my family that during our vacation here in the philippines we should have an overnight staycation in okada and i wasn't mistaken um it's really really breathtaking if if that's the right word i can use at the moment because when i first came into the room i was speechless but anyway let me give you a room tour and please stay tuned for more i'll see you later so this is a guest bathroom equipped with a Japanese toilet. This is fully automatic. Chan. So actually this is a junior suite and it comes with a king size bed. That's my sister in the background. Our things are already here and of course the entertainment center plus some food from the mini bar then you have a vanity section here and this is the walk-in closet and that was the guest bathroom earlier and this is like the coffee station and you have a private bar down here this is the toilet and you have a big tub that can fit maybe two to three people here. His and hers sink. And totally huge mirror. We have the shower area here with the rainfall shower head. And you have Roberto Cavalli products. Oh, it's not focusing, but that is Roberto Cavalli, yeah. And this is the other toilet. This is a workstation. So if you have work to do, you can use the desk. And the living room, that's my dad. And you have another TV here. You can also use this iPad to control the temperature or lighting in your room and all the other stuff. Okay guys, we're in a different setting again because we are in an executive suite. Actually, we booked two rooms. The first room I showed you earlier is the junior suite, as I mentioned, and that room is for our parents. And the executive suite is for me, my sister, and my brother. But honestly, this is not what we booked. We only booked a deluxe room, but I don't know, the odds were in our favor and they randomly chose us for an upgrade. So this is what we have at the moment, an executive suite. And the room for my parents are also a deluxe room, but they also got upgraded to a junior suite. So we're kind of lucky today and I hope our luck doesn't run out. But let me give you a tour of the executive suite and can I just say I'm totally blown away by this property, by the rooms, by the suites. I'm just... Okay, that's my father. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse him. But anyway, uh, let me just show you the, the executive suite. And if you're planning to stay in Okada and you have the mula to splurge, please try staying in the executive suite. It's totally amazing. When you enter the door, you have a bar area here. And then a dining table that can sit eight people and then the living room and then over here is like a display area our bags are there this is the desk area workstation and you see this huge mirror hi so this huge mirror if you open it from the side it turns into a uh, 
a hidden like compartment cabinet <laughs> i haven't seen that anywhere else i mean we've stayed in a lot of hotels in qatar and i think this trumps everything i think yeah i think i'm thinking about it i'm comparing it to banana island and i yeah i think this trumps it yes so this room comes also with its own <coughs> private massage bed massage room so if you have some issues with your body you can order a massage in the room so we requested for twin beds and the executive suite comes with of course twin beds and you have a sitting area there and on that side is the mini bar so this is the massage room that i showed you earlier and then of course here you have the tv and food from the mini bar of course the coffee station i was talking about earlier and this is our vanity area and the walk-in closet combined so I'm totally blown away. I've been using that term, but really that's all I can say at the moment. And then when you walk here, you get the bathroom. We get a big tub as well. And we have his and her sinks. This is one and the other one is that. That's my brother. Then this is the shower area. Okay, and of course Roberto Cavalli toiletries. And then let's walk on to the other side. Of course, we have the view of the city here. Okay, now going back. And of course, the Japanese toilet over here. The property is so huge that they have two wings. We are currently at the pearl wing and they also have the coral wing. And in both wings, in the center, I think you can roam around and see more of the property. So later on, I'll show you that. So we are currently in between the two wings, pearl and coral. And in between, you get a lot of um, like boutiques. So for example, here we have Porsche design at the back. And on my side is Lacoste. There's also a boutique for Tom Hill figure. I mean, look at the architecture on this, the interior design. Everything was well thought out. Aside from the boutiques, they also have restaurants. So we're gonna eat at Quiapo. Of course, my sister is making her cameo appearance on the vlog. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna head to Quiapo. That's the name of the restaurant. And Quiapo serves Filipino cuisine. We're now in Quiapo and we're going to try the Bilao Budel. So the Bilao Budel that we ordered is suitable for four persons and we are six at the moment at the table and we couldn't even finish it. We're trying to finish the leftover but we just can't. We're just so full. So I guess it's really suitable for more than four people maybe at least eight maximum so yeah anyway that also comes with dessert so we have to make room for it i've been burping i'm sorry <laughs> but later we'll show you the fountain show because they have a fountain show at every hour um, of the day this dessert is included in the bilao budel and it's called mais con yellow Mais is corn and yellow is ice. If ever you get lost in Okada, they have this interactive map. So my father is just searching where we are at the moment and we're trying to look for the fountain for the fountain show. We 
finally located the fountain which is of course this one and then at the background over there that's Okada Manila show lasted for one minute and we had to wait an hour for it <laughs> what you are seeing is the coral wing lobby isn't it impressive <laughs> Restaurants here and food stalls. Half the WGP, the French Baker, Chatime, Starbucks. Yeah, so there are a slew of restaurants here. We're back in the room after roaming around the property, and my sister and I decided to make use of the big bathtub it has jacuzzi jets so we're gonna use that for tonight and then tomorrow morning we're gonna use the pool because when we checked out the pool earlier it's actually closed because of the thunderstorms happening so i was advised to just check it out tomorrow morning at 6 a.m which is the opening time also okada provided us complimentary kakanin which are native delicacies mostly um uh, on the sweeter side so this is what it looks like. Chinin. Smells good. It's really tempting. But we're gonna first have our bath. We're filling up the bathtub so we can have our bath tonight. A relaxing de-stress. And I forgot to show you that this also has a TV inside so while you relax in the tub you can watch your favorite show right now as you can see we have Courtney Kardashian in the background <laughs> we're watching E keeping up with the Kardashian so we just finished our bath um, my brother is actually in this massage room he ordered a private massage and the massage here it's um, 4,500 pesos for 60 minutes and then as I said Earlier, there is an iPad which controls the whole room and you can also order in-room dining from there. So let me show you the menu. Let's turn on this baby. This is the welcome page. Let's go to private dining. Enter. They have breakfast, all day dining, beverages and favorites. We'll go to we'll go to all day dining and we're gonna order from the sandwiches and this is the price list and the menu that I mean the assortment of food that you can get from this menu so I think we're gonna order the Okada Clubhouse and by the way all prices are in Philippine peso VAT inclusive and are subject to 10% service charge and applicable government taxes Oh, let me show you for the in-room massage. And then you have in-room treatments. And then here, you have the different massages they offer. And 4,500 pesos is the minimum price for most of it. And you can also, of course, watch a movie. <laughs> they have action, adult. <laughs> And then adventure, animation, blockbuster, all of these different categories. And I think I want to watch a comedy tonight. And I haven't seen Girl's Trip yet, so we might watch this. And if you see, most of it are complimentary movies. But then you have one movie which has like the 777 peso price tag here, which means it's... um, uh, What do you call it? There's a term for it. I forgot. Pay... Uh, pay to watch something like that yeah so this is basically what you have on the ipad 
the Okada Club has arrived. This is it. And it comes with fries. We didn't order any drinks. We're just gonna have the complimentary water that they have in the room. And we're watching Girls Trip. Day two at Okada and I have no makeup on because we're at the pool. My sister. We're at the pool and um, they have an infinity pool. Let me show it to you, okay? Over there is the infinity pool and you can see the ocean from there. Just finished with our pool dip and now we're headed to the buffet breakfast at Medley Buffet in the ground floor. Uh, unfortunately, this is our checkout day but I must say I am quite pleased with the stay that we had here at Okada, Manila. So we're now at the Medley Buffet for buffet breakfast and there are a lot of options to choose from from what I can see. It's a big place. You won't go hungry here. Do you see what I mean? Anyway, let me show you more. of Akada Manila and I highly recommend it especially if you have the budget for it uh, once in a lifetime experience I believe for us because uh, <laughs> we don't have a lot of budget <laughs> but anyway I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, vlog and I'll see you on the next one and uh, by the way this wasn't sponsored by Okada I just want to give them a big shout out for the complimentary upgrade for the two rooms that we booked okay see you on the next one bye